Hi there, welcome to 42 Pursuit. Today I'm gonna to be helping a friend install all of the plumbing components from his main water supply all the way to the sprinkler box where all the zones take off. Now we live in a northern environment, so that means the sprinkler system has to get blown out every fall so the pipes don't freeze in the winter. So that changes things a little bit, and when I was researching how to do this project and what components were needed, there's a little bit of unknowns there. So I think I figured it out, and I wanna walk you guys through the process that I use. Now slight disclaimer, I'm sure this isn't the only way that this can be done, but I'm confident that this will be a robust system that will last for quite some time without any issues. Let me show you the components that I picked up and then we'll head over to my buddy's place. So in his crawl space, he has a one inch copper pipe that we can easily tie into. Since I like working with PEX and I have the tools for that, I got a sweat adapter to go from copper to PEX. Got some PEX pipe, PEX crimpers, a one inch to one inch coupling and some elbows in case I need to zigzag around some stuff in the crawl space. Next, we wanna go to a galvanized pipe with a water shut off. So to do that, a one inch MPT thread which will go into our valve shutoff, which we will shut off in the fall and drain all the water past this point in the system. This will be under the house in the crawl space area, some distance from the actual edge of the house. So we've got a three foot galvanized pipe. The outside of the house edge will probably be about here. So most of this will be inside where it'll be warm and won't freeze. Then on the outside, this will all get drained out. I have a three way one inch galvanized fitting with a reducer to three quarter and a hose bib here. That will allow the water to to drain out. This will stay open in the fall all through the winter so that there isn't any water in this part of the system. Next, using a straight fitting and a street elbow, we're gonna go into the pressure vacuum breaker. Now this is a requirement so that this water can't backflow into the main system of the house. So from the output of this, we're gonna get a straight, a right turn so we can turn down and then convert into a poly fitting. Now I chose this fitting here so that when this plastic piece threads in, it's in compression. And then the poly hose that will be connected here will go into the ground and into the sprinkler box. So all of this stuff will be in that box in the ground in the yard. So the poly line comes in into this fitting. I had to get an adapter to go into this manifold. It's a one inch swivel adapter. And then here is a single piece that you can get. It's a three valve manifold. And then to convert each one of these lines into poly, I needed a one inch poly adapter as well. We've got the crimp rings for these poly connections and then some wire to run to the sprinkler control box from the valves, some wire staples to hold them out of the way in the crawl space, and some push to connect wire connectors. Hopefully that's everything that we need as far as plumbing supplies go. Inevitably, we'll probably have to run to the store and grab something that I forgot. I will make note of that in the video as we continue. Also remember there's some other supplies that you'll need such as like pipe wrenches, um, Teflon tape, pipe dope, solder and a torch for the copper, a crimp tool and other such things. Keep your eye out for those other supplies as well. All right, I think we got what we need. Let's hit the road. The first step is to tie into the water main of the house. There conveniently is a branch here with a ball valve, but it's capped, so we need to cut that off with a tubing cutter, clean up the pipe with some sandpaper, add some flux to help the solder flow into the fitting and solder on the copper to PEX adapter. Now that we're converted to PEX, we're gonna route up and over to get closer to the outside wall of the house. So one quick tip I found on these crimp rings, they're sometimes pretty loosey-goosey on here. So get them about where you want them, and then you can take pliers and just give it just a little snug so that they don't wanna slide around. So when you're getting up in there to crimp it, they're not getting all squirrely on you. We've gotten close enough to the wall of the house with a PEX pipe, so we're transitioning back to galvanized, starting with a threaded adapter, a ball valve, and then a straight piece of galvanized pipe, which we will stick through a hole in the wall, out the siding, to the outside. We'll show that part in more detail in a little bit. Here's the rest of the galvanized parts that'll be on the outside of the house. I'm gonna assemble these in three separate sub-assemblies to make screwing everything together a bit easier. All right, we've got all the plumbing finished under the house and outside of the house. We'll start here in the crawl space. So we started here at the PEX pipe, sweated on a fitting, a right angle. That goes up and over 
to this line. Okay, and the PEX runs along to the water shut off to outside. So we got galvanized going out of the house. We'll shut that off in the fall and blow the rest of the system out. So that galvanized pipe comes out of the house here, slight downward angle. We'll leave this open all winter so if there's any water that can leak out of here. And that comes up to the backflow preventer. There's an air input here and here, which is part of this assembly that you buy. And this comes down into the supply to the sprinkler box going into the manifold. And then we have our three valves going out to each zone. I did make a mistake on the wiring connectors. I should have gotten the lever lock style, not the push to connect. These wires that come with the valves are stranded, so they can't push into those style of connectors. So we'll have to come back when we have those and finish that part up. So the idea is to winterize this. You'll shut the valve off that's inside, open this, water will drain out of this. Then with this open, you can put air in here to blow out to here, which probably is unnecessary because gravity will just do that. But if you connect a compressor up to here and open this, air will then go through the whole system and you can turn on each one of your zones to blow them out in the winter. All right, it's been a couple days and the sprinkler controller has arrived. Also, I found the bag with the uh, wire nuts in it for connecting the valves up to the sprinkler wire. So we're gonna start with grabbing one wire from each valve. It doesn't matter which, according to the instructions, and tying that to the white wire. That'll be the common node. And then we'll pick one of th the three colors for the three zones to tie to the remaining wire on each valve. One quick thing I wanted to make a note of, I ran the sprinkler wire up the side of the house in a gray PVC pipe into a junction box and then into the crawl space. This will protect it from UV exposure or getting whacked by a weed eater. And now the last step in the process is installing the sprinkler controller and connecting up the wires. This is as easy as screwing the controller to the wall and connecting the wires to the terminals that correspond to the different zones that you want to hook up. And that's about all there is to it. Thanks for sticking around. I hope this helps some of you out there who had similar questions to me as to what components were necessary and how to make sure it doesn't freeze in the winter. Now, another quick disclaimer, I'm not a professional plumber, but if you know the right components and you have a little bit of know-how, I feel like this is totally a project you can get done in a weekend. And one other thing, I'll have links for all the major components in the description if you can't find them locally. I hope this helps some of you out there. Thanks for sticking around.